Imagine your date flakes on you after like all the good vibes. And later on they make up for it in the most perfect way, specifically tailored to you. Wow! Imagine your perfect date. Yeah, that. I'd bet my left nut most of us would swiftly forgive any infraction levied our way. Unless it's the 14th time and you still fall for it. Now that's just toxic. <laughs> On this day, the 29th of March 2024, your friendly African NPC was quoted saying, Welcome to Under the African Sun. Remember to stay hydrated. That's the wrong line. Dude, I'm just reading the script you gave me here. Are you sure? On this day, the 29th of March 2024, Spider-Man Beyond the Spider-Verse was supposed to come out. And guess who flaked on that dinner date, ladies and gentlemen? Something about her dad not letting her go out or something. But somehow, in all that, you get a coffee date in the end. And this is that coffee date. So Sony decided to kinda say sorry for not releasing Beyond the Spider-Verse on schedule. But it's cool. It gives them time to polish up the movie before we see it. I don't know why it was delayed. And no release date has been set yet. Hey yo, what the I'm a fan of releasing it when it's ready, not when it's convenient. So if the decision was an artistic one, given how the industry has been working these VFX artists to the bone, I'm all for it. Nice. If you haven't seen the animated short film, I highly recommend you do and come back to this video after. I put a link in the description and somewhere up here. With that taken care of, let's see what the spider within has to offer. It's no secret most spider people have a hard time dealing with the balance between a normal life and their superior responsibilities. With great power comes great responsibility is one of the most famous quotes in all of Marvel. Dare I say all of comics. The weight of those words has shaped various spider people to be the heroes we know them to be. For better or for worse. The spider within picks up with Miles dealing with a lot on his plate for a kid his age. While the rest of us probably had to worry about keeping our grades up, and maybe some extracurricular activities at school. Miles had the added weight of having to protect New York. Hell, some of us had to work jobs while it's in high school. And you know for a fact, balancing everything out is a peak level skill not most of us can attain. The line you need to apply yourself hits harder, especially when you know you're putting 1000% of yourself into everything you do. I think I speak for everybody when I say, we know what it's like to feel the pressure to excel in multiple roles, whether as a parent, a wife, a provider, an employee, or simply a good friend. We understand what it's like to wear many hats and still feel like we're falling short. Try adding superhero to that list. To find balance in all that is extremely stressful. You can't be good at everything. I know. You've tried, and you know the weight of expectation is not something to scoff at, which only adds to your anxiety till you reach your breaking point. For Miles, his spider sense went haywire, being overly sensitive to nothing. It reminds me of Spider-Man 2 when Peter lost his powers. We all know it was a mental block, and physically, he was fine. These two cases show the two extremes of what poor mental health can do to you and why finding balance is the most important thing for these two characters. Even in life, we need to find balance in all our endeavors, or else we will fall victim to arguably the most dangerous antagonist evolution has dealt mankind, our minds. Miles does something we all do at some point in our lives. 
visibly distressed and carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders. He puts up a facade and pretends everything is okay, so he doesn't worry his family. At this point, he's lost Uncle Aaron, his confidant, so he feels he has no one to talk to till he hears the words we all want to hear when we're distressed. Are you okay, son? In this moment again, Miles does something we all do. Avoid talking about the issue when someone offers an olive branch. Mental health is one of the most overlooked problems in our society. Multiply that by 10 in the black community and a further 10 in African culture. Nine times out of 10, a psychological condition is simply chalked up to witchcraft. And honestly, how does one look for help when the answer is always the same? Miles retreats to his room, the one place he thought he'd finally find peace and relax, only for his anxiety to get worse. Oh man, I'm bugging. Sleep paralysis is a real condition that can get to any one of us with enough stress. Nothing can prepare you for a sudden lack of control in a situation where your instincts are screaming, fight or flight. While Miles tried to fight back and even run, unless you deal with the root of the problem, you won't solve the issue. Until then, you're just a deer in headlights. I've experienced sleep paralysis, but never with a whole ass sleep paralysis demon there to potentially make my heart explode. I can only imagine how some of you have been through that. And I have one thing to say. It'll be okay. And you'll be fine. But you have to get to the root of the problem. Or else it won't stop. Face your demons no matter how hard it may be. The only way is forward and try not to look back. Don't let you and your past get in the way of you and your future. Miles' dad is really a great dad. He doesn't come off as overbearing and he's there when Miles needs him. A healthy role model is one of the most important things in any child's life. For boys, it teaches us how to become good men. And for girls, it shows them what a good man is so when they find a partner in the future, they can look for the same positive qualities in said partner. Luckily, we don't have to speculate on how Miles would turn out if his dad wasn't in the picture. There's a whole world where he's the prowler and we'll get to see more of that in the upcoming movie. Miles, realizing he can't deal with this by himself, does something we all should have the courage to do, but don't. Hey dad, you got a minute? Talk to someone. I know most of us don't have a confidant or are afraid of being judged. That's normal, and if it's too hard, doing something as simple as taking a walk to clear your mind for a bit can help. Meditation is another way too, but I personally find it difficult. My mind races way too much, and I can never seem to be able to focus. Whenever I feel overwhelmed, I do something simple like cleaning my living space. It takes my mind off things, and if that fails, I write whatever comes to mind on a piece of paper, or talk to the mirror. Sometimes I keep the paper, sometimes I burn it. What I've come to realize is keeping things in doesn't help. If anything, talking or writing puts it out there, and maybe you may find a solution. You don't keep a shit in your body, cause it's unhealthy and can legit cause a medical emergency. So why keep the bad thoughts and feelings in? Now, I'm no mental health expert or anything, so take everything I say with a grain of salt. But if anything I said helped you, I'm happy for you, and hope this is the beginning of your journey to taking better care of your mental health, just like how Miles took his first step by talking to his dad. This short is nothing but amazing. At this point, talking about the beautiful visuals is basically calling water wet. Small things like showing the demon before we get to the room just add that little bit more visual storytelling that just rewards multiple viewings. And the sound design? Damn boy! I can't sing enough praises over how these creators are genuinely masters of their craft. 
It's details like how Miles even uses humor to try and deal with his predicament that you realize they understand what a spider person is. And who among us hasn't used humor to mask real pain? Speaking of pain, comment down below if you've gone through something similar to Miles and how you deal with it. You never know, it might help someone more than you know. It's always a pleasure to revisit this franchise and I can't wait for Beyond the Spider-Verse to come out. It's also been a pleasure having you watch the video. Subscribe for more future content and drop a like to show some love. Lord knows we all need it. Watch any of these videos on screen to continue on your YouTube journey. I've been your friendly African NPC. This has been Under the African Sun and I'll check you in the next one. Peace.